Welcome back to the channel all about Lean Six Sigma tools and techniques. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys all about how to add a secondary access to your chart in Excel. So I've set up a data table here, which shows us the average rainfall per month and the average temperature per month. So what I want to do first is I want to make a chart that displays both of this data together so that we can, we can easily see the relationship between these two data points. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the data set. Then I'm going to go to insert. Then I'm going to click here on insert a column or bar chart. So I'll select that. And then I'll go down to here, the 2D column, and I'll select clustered column. So once I click that, you'll see that Excel automatically goes and creates us a nice chart. Now, it's not looking exactly the way we want it to look. We need to change the secondary access for our average temperature. So this is the, our, the orange bar. So you can easily do that by, if you right click anywhere, on this chart. So I'm just going to pick here the top corner, right click with my mouse and go to change chart type. If I go to the bottom here, you'll see where it says combo. You can select that combo and you'll see here your two series names. There's rainfall and there's average temperature. So if I go to here for the average temperature, I want to make that my secondary axis. So I'll click here, secondary access, and you'll see automatically it turns into a line, right? It puts secondary access on the right side here. Um, it, Excel chose line for me, but we can change that. We can make it any way where we want. We can make it uh, align with markers. So that looks to me a little bit better. And once we press okay, then you'll see that the temperature has become our secondary axis on the right side of the graph. Now we can make this look a little bit better. We can, we can add a chart title. We can go here to chart design. We can add a chart element. We can um, add an access title. So we can do our, our vertical access title. And we can also add our secondary vertical title, right? Because we want to name that one our temperature. If you like this video so far, please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks. I want to show you guys another quick and easy way to add a secondary access to your chart. So once again, we're going to highlight the data. We're going to go to insert. We're going to go to insert a column graph, 2D. And if you select the average temperature series, so I'll just click this once with my mouse, with my on the left mouse. Then if I right click it, and go to format data series on the side here you'll see what po pops up is a format data series and you can change this to, to your secondary axis okay but once again keep in mind for this you are going to have to go back here right click again and change your series chart type to a line so it looks like a line with markers I hope you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out more of my videos about Lean Six Sigma here.